Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Cyber School. And if you guys don't already know who this wonderful person is, this is Tiger from Intel. Guys, so everyone's been talking about the X series for Intel, you know, chips, and I was thinking, man, this would be great if we had somebody who could actually talk to us about this. And then I thought, oh, Tiger, what's going on, man? <laughs> So, can you tell us about the X-Series and what's going on with it right now? Sure. Uh, we just announced at Computex the new X299 processor, or chipset, um, and the codename was Basin Falls. Uh, but it comes with a whole new line of X-Series uh, processors. Now, well, why did you guys choose the X? Couldn't you just in like the Z? Because then you would be like, Z! <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the Z we have for uh, the mainstream gamers. Oh, and, that's right, and, that's right. But X is our extreme, you know, high-end uh, processors and platform. I, d I dig it too, the neon and everything going on with it. So, give us a little more source about, you know, the, the X299 series <laughs> because, I mean, there's been a lot of speculation people have talked about, but there's really been nothing like solid, I mean, mm -hmm. a few numbers here and there put in, but nothing like, this is what it is and let's say it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. There's a lot of rumors out there, but now that we've it's capped out of the bag, we announced everything. So uh, the X299 platform, we're going to have CPUs all the way from four cores to 18 cores with mm. 36 threads. So, that's, a, that's a lot of good processing to be going on yeah, there. Yeah, that's a lot of processing power. So that's actually, uh, um, you know, one of our, our, our largest, uh, it's one teraflop. So it's pretty big. Now, if you guys don't know, we were talking about how much it would have cost to do that back then. And how much was it? I think back in the 60s, it was like in the billion dollars per gigaflop. But now it's down to like, uh, I forget, it was like 20, two, two, 20 cents or something. I forget. I haven't done the math yet. But yeah, see, yeah. see but you guys, <laughs> totally affordable. You're, you're getting a giant size supercomputer in your PC. That's, yep. that's incredible. So now with, with the more, and this is a part where I think people don't really understand. With more cores, what are you getting from having like more instead of less? Because... I know there was also saying there were you guys who also had another cap uh, some capabilities that will allow you to do more with those cores yeah. in your system. Yeah, so uh, we have a couple of um, uh, CPUs actually. So uh, the four core is actually based on a KB Lake X or a KB Lake uh, CPU, which we already have in the, the mainstream platform. But uh, why would you know Intel introduce a four core into an X platform? And the reason is is because now um, we can overclock it more. It's got better power. Uh, delivery and then you can actually overclock it even higher because of the heat dissipation. So for gamers, um, you know, a lot of games are still single uh, threaded, so you'll get better gains from uh, frequency. And with the four core uh, KBX processors, um, you're able to overclock it into, um, you know, speeds that we've never seen before and we're already breaking records. So these guys are like Star Trek. They're going to space and beyond. <laughs> They're going farther than you guys can think right now. Yeah. And then also with the 18 core, you know, like, okay, who needs that much power? Well, you know, maybe it's not the, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you can afford it, bragging rights for sure. Um, but like, you know, I, I think a good analogy is if you're just moving a couple boxes, you just need a pickup truck. But if you're going to move a whole house, you need a semi. And yeah. I think that if you're in the business of editing 4K VR content, um, and you know, you're using multi-threaded applications. I mean, this is going to be the beast, the ultimate CPU that you want. Oh man, you, you, you were making me so hungry for this. Now I want it. And now, and now I'm just going to have to go take my computer and throw it out the window and be like, it broke, I need to buy something new. Like, <laughs> so, you know, with the, with this initial launch, uh, mm -hmm. I, I guess more or less with, uh, uh, it coming out and you guys, you know, announcing it like. How did you guys come up with the the, the, the name for Basin Falls? You know, um, I don't know what the what the origin of all the the code names. I mean, we think we got, you know, we have Sky Lake and CPU names, chipset names, platform names. Um, but those are the guys in the uh, <coughs> in the factory that that come up with those names. So okay, <laughs> I'm just wondering because Sky Lake, I kept wondering about that name for a while, and I was been like, it was so close to Skynet. Are they trying <laughs> to make a Skynet? Is this what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, uh, to say the truth, I don't know where those names come from, but it's the engineers back in the in the factory. So see, it's engineers. It's not the company that will ruin <laughs> us. It was the engineers. So Sarah Connor had it right when she shot that dude. Anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for stopping by again for Cyber School. We want to say thanks to our guest, you know, Tiger, for coming in. And guys, if you haven't checked it out already, go check out the X series from Intel's. It's just come out from Comtex and announced. Uh, when, when is when is the delivery date? I mean, it's they can buy it now, can't they? Uh, no, now? they can't yet. So we Damn haven't it. announced that date yet. But oh. yep. <laughs> Damn it! See, guys, I tried. He's he's a he's a stone wall. I couldn't get it from him. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We do appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you like the video, please make sure you like, share, and comment. And guys, make sure you ask any kind of comments. We're always open to new things. And trust me, we might have people lurking on there who may just answer you immediately or take a year and then afterwards you never have relevancy for that comment. But, you know, it all, it all ends up the same. It's YouTube. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. As we always say, thanks for stopping by.